So folks, I'm just on my way up to go see the film set of Outlaw King. I know they're filming at Craig Miller Castle today. So I'm just gonna see if any of the big stars like Chris Pine has turned up. And hopefully we'll get a couple of photos. Craig Miller Castle is just in my backyard, yeah. It's just literally just between the gap of the trees up ahead. I can't see anybody at the castle. So I have a funny feeling I have missed it already and they've packed up and gone home. But I'll go have a look see anyway. Well, unfortunately, as you can see, they're still working on the set job. I'll come back tomorrow and see if anybody's turned up. A bit disappointing. Well, I was just asking there when the filming actually starts. And I've been told in a couple of weeks time. Now, I know that's a lot of rubbish. They're just trying to keep everybody away from you. So I'll come down every day and just see who turns up. Now, I'm actually heading up to Perth tomorrow because I know they're shooting Outlander. So hopefully I can get to see Sam Hewan and some of the other stars. I see my son has had the same idea to Craig Miller Castle to come see if they're doing any filming here. Now you can follow his vlog on YouTube. He's called Sean or Sean Vlog. Sean's just going to set up his little drone quickly. We're just going to fly around the castle. Mind you, the wind's quite strong, so I don't know how well it's going to handle. Is he why it doesn't finish push mode? Folks, it was disappointing that there was no shooting at the castle today. But I'll come back another day. Now, of course, Craig Miller Castle is famous because of Queen Mary. Uh, I think what I'll do today is head over to the Queen's Palace and see if I can sneak into the gardens there. Give you a quick tour of the Queen's Palace. Hello, sir. Oh, okay. Now that's me got into trouble. Stick to the path, do not wander in the gardens. Just one thing when you're visiting the palace, you cannot take any photos inside yeah, or video. So while you're free to take photos outside, you'll get into some serious trouble if you take photos inside. Now, uh, if you've come to visit the palace thinking you're gonna see the actual rooms where the queen stays, I think you're gonna be very disappointed. Obviously no tourists are allowed into her private quarters. And in fact, you can only go around the old parcel of the palace. The one thing that struck me about the inside of this palace is that it's really dark. So I can imagine back in the 17th, 18th century when they only had candles. I have no idea how they found their way around inside. It's very dark. The other things that struck me is the bedrooms are tiny. The beds that the king and queen slept in are really tiny. These must have been really short people. So if you're thinking about visiting uh, Hollywood Palace and it's going to cost you from £7.50 to get in and depending on what tour you want to do it can go up to £21 
50 per person. One thing you must bear in mind that if you're coming here in the heart of summer, it is very, very busy. Now, we've come here at the end of September and it's extremely busy still, which is very unusual for Edinburgh to be this busy with tourists. But um, even with only about 20 people in front of us, I think we waited about 30 minutes in this little queue. So I can imagine in the height of summer that this is gonna be a complete nightmare. Now it didn't help that one of the machines broke down so there was only one toll taking all these people. So if you're coming to visit Edinburgh for your Outlander tour, then the Queen's Palace will most probably be your last stop going down the Royal Mile. It's well worth a visit, but bear in mind you can't take photographs, so that's a bit disappointing. The distance between the castle and the Queen's Palace is maybe a 15-20 minute slow walk, but obviously there's so many sites in between and it will take you several hours to get from the top to the bottom. So to finish off this little tour, I'm going to take you where the Queen has her bath. That's right, you would think that the Queen would have a bath inside the palace, but uh, that's not the case. In those days, she used to have to have a bath outside in her own little building. So now you can imagine leaving your palace to have to go to the bath, which is a, a couple of minutes walk down the little road. Yeah? Very strange. Okay.